It's time for more financials, this time from NVIDIA who have announced their financials for Q4 financial year 2016 and yes, somehow in NVIDIA land it is already financial year Q4 2016, don't ask me how. Financial years are weird, especially when you take into consideration that each company has a different one, don't ask me, I didn't invent the rules, but even with that in mind, we have some impressive figures from NVIDIA. When you take a look at revenue, they reported 1.4 billion in Q4 of financial year 16, which is up 7% when compared to last quarter and 12% when you compare year over year. This time last year, they did have 1.2 billion, so a nice little increase there. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that their operating income did increase as well, and we'll get into that in just a moment. As for the entire year, their revenue was at 5.1 billion for 16 versus 4.6 billion in 15, which is a year-over-year -year increase of 7%. As I said a moment ago, the operating expenses also increased uh, up 12%, which probably reflects a little bit in their operating income and net income decreasing by about 2 to 3%. But moving on to their business performance in their different sectors, of course, their main market performance for NVIDIA is, of course, the GPU. And if you look at financial year 16, pretty nice increase for them there, as it was 1.17 billion in Q4 financial year 16, compared to 1.07 in uh, 15, which is a 6% increase compared to last quarter, and up 10% year over year. As for the Tegra, they reported a revenue of 157 million in Q4 2016, which is up 22% from the previous quarter and a 40% increase from Q4 financial year 15. They have also reported that gaming, data center and automotive were the key drivers for them in fiscal year 2016, which led to that 7% increase in revenue. And naturally they have kind of divided things up with their GPU business into a range of segments which include, include rather their GeForce Quadro GPUs and the Tesla grid for data center markets. GeForce grew 21%. Of course that's going to be a lot in the court of the GTX 980 Ti and also the sub $200 cards such as the 960 and of course the 950 and the 970 also saw an increase of usage which actually led it to be one of the most popular GPUs on Steam. If you move on however to their Quadro Pro GPUs this was the second most profitable for Nvidia, reporting a revenue of about 204 million, up 7%, both sequentially and year over year. And of course, this lineup was fueled by Maxwell cards, which are definitely the hot topic or one of the hot topics right now. As mentioned, their data centers are also doing well, and that includes the Tesla and Grid GPUs. That saw an 18% increase in revenue, again sequentially, and 10% year over year. They reported a $97 million revenue in this segment, which was due to the latest Maxwell-based Tesla M40 and M4 cards, which are aimed at visual visualization and grid servers. But what about financial year 17? It is, of course, now they're now looking forward to the first quarter of their new financial year. What are they expecting? Well, they are expecting their revenue to reach 1.26 billion, plus or minus a few percent. And um, gap and non-gap gross margins are expected to be 57.2 and 57.5% respectively, plus or minus 50 basis points. Operating expenses in gap are expected to be approximately 50, sorry, not 50, 500 million. Non-gap operating expenses are expected to be 445 million. So there you are, things overall looking fairly healthy for NVIDIA. I hope you've enjoyed the various graphs that have been in this video and hopefully break down this information a bit more simply for you. So, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.